this is 365801 and this is another video for the hashtag 25 days of manga. I'm going to be doing the reindeer prompt which is to read a genre or demographic you don't usually read. And so for this one I've chosen a non-fiction title because I don't read a lot of non-fiction titles and this is an autobiography. Um, this title is The Bride Was a Boy. It's a true story written by Chi and it's published by Seven Seas. Once again, Seven Seas is doing good work with their LGBT titles as well. So this is the story of um, Chi, who was assigned male at birth and she accounts her time growing up um, and her uh, dealing with her gender dysphoria and her choice to transition in her early adult life and then also her meeting, falling in love and ultimately marrying. I don't think I'm giving it away if it's in the title, the bride was a boy. So she does marry <laughs> um, someone that she loves. And so we know at the start that there's going to be a happy ending, which is fantastic because I really don't like it when you read something and you think, oh no, it's going to be bad. So I knew um, that this was an autobiography that would have a happy ending, no matter how heart-wrenching it might be to read some of the things that were going to be taking place. So um, I knew that this was going to be something positive for me to read, that I was going to enjoy reading it, and I knew that there would be a happy outcome. So first off, on the art side of it, it's so cute and so sweet and she does such a good job of expressing the emotions and um, the thoughts and feelings of the, the people that she's writing about, herself included and husband Kun, who she does eventually marry, who is so, just sounds wonderful. Husband Kun just sounds wonderful. He sounds lovely and so happy and grateful to be with Chi and so supportive. Yeah, he just sounds great. Um, but she also you totally fall in love with because of the way that she draws her her uh, expressions and the mannerisms and and her emotions really come through. Um, but there are so many other people in the story that you actually really fall in love with too. I absolutely loved how she drew her um, her dad, her father, and the interactions with her father and. Um, especially at the end when she's getting married and she says to her dad, oh, but you didn't think you'd be giving away another daughter. And he just kind of is a bit like, what? Eh? Oh, yeah. And she's so flabbergasted by the fact that he'd forgotten all about the fact that she was originally um, assigned male at birth. It was like, oh, yeah, I totally forgot. <laughs> So, um, and also how um, husband Kuhn and, and her dad interact as well. She's like, oh, hold on, he's he's a lot like my dad. So daughters do marry their, you know, men who are like, are like their uh, fathers. I just think all of these little things are really important. And it really um, did make me feel such a great love for Chi. She's just wonderful. So you have to love her by the end of reading this autobiography. You have to. She's just a wonderful person who goes through a lot and doesn't shy away from the realities. So it's um, it's got lovely colour inserts at the front. So there's some really nice colour drawings at the front, and then it goes into black and white. And it's um, it's like four panel, but not a comedy, not like a gag manga. Of course, it's an autobiography, but that's not to say that there isn't humour in this. And sh she really does find the humour and brings it out because I know that this can be quite a difficult um, topic to, to draw about and especially if it's your own story but she seems to be able to find the humour in different situations and she's um, really deft at, 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 adept at, at going through that and portraying that humour and making you feel as the, the reader that you're going along this journey and it's okay to laugh and it's okay to smile um, even at even at points when um, you think oh this is a bit uncomfortable you know sometimes she makes a joke um, at no one's expense but just that it is what it is it's lovely um, the way that she writes about her story um, 
it's actually really fantastic as well because as it is non-fiction she puts in certain panels there's breaks between the stages so she outlines all the different stages that she's going through all of the different points almost as though people have asked her questions and she is uh, active on Twitter so maybe that's the case so my, someone might have said what was it like growing up as a boy and so she's filled a section about what her life was like as a boy. What was it like when you were an adult and you hadn't quite uh, started the transition yet or you you were starting to do the research? What was it like then? And so she does a section about that. What was it like starting your transition and what did you have to go through to transition? And um, what does it mean to be transgender? What does it mean to have gender dysphoria? She um, addresses all of these questions. So it's actually incredibly informative. Um, so if you have a question about what it's like to have gender dysphoria, you can read this autobiography and it will, you know, help you to understand. And it's written from the perspective of someone who has it and has gone through the transition is now incredibly happily living as a bride, um, a married woman and um, what she has gone through. Now there are two issues that you know, most people are most concerned about, and one is the um, like sex reassignment surgery, and she really does like hammer home the point that um, not everyone who has gender dysphoria feels the need to go through that, or can afford to go through that, or wants to go through that, and um, I think that's a really important point. She also talks about what happens when you want to be legally recognised as the gender you are rather than the one that you're assigned at birth and what it means to do that in Japan. And one of the, the points she brings up is how she can and has gone through that process which is difficult and, and you have to go through lots of hoops, lots and lots of hoops, like seeing the doctors and which doctors will see you and how long you have to be um, undergoing counselling with their clinic and, and who signs off on that and all of these hoops that you have to go through to be able to um, be legally reassigned your gender um, in Japan. And then when you have, you can then marry, if the person you're in love with is the opposite gender because of course in Japan you can't marry if you're of the same gender so people who have married and then they want to go through the process of um, getting their correct gender assigned legally they would not be able to do so if they're married they would have to then divorce and then they would never be able to remarry and it's so complex and so uh, she does it so well, she explains all of this so well, so much better than I'm trying to at the moment. And she does it, you know, in such an easy to understand way. So it's a really informative and easy to understand book. I just really found it so intriguing. The And I, what was really great was how she addressed the fact that some of the people sh that she knows in Japan are in same-sex relationships and they can't get married and the guilt that she felt for now being able to marry the person she was in love with because she had gone through all this process and how her friends were not able to do so. The fact that she addressed that as well is really important. I just, um, I just absolutely loved this. It made me cry, it made me laugh and it it was just a wonderful, wonderful work. So if you are thinking about getting it or you haven't got it yet, I would highly, highly recommend it. In fact, I think it would be something that would be really useful for um, libraries, especially like high school libraries. I think it's really important that um, young people are able to access this kind of information in a really fun and easy way it, I thought it was really great. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant um, book. The Bride Was a Boy by Chi. She ends with one of the one of the, the points of her personality is that she's a bit of a crybaby, and her husband, husband Kuhn, 
uh, points out that she cried a lot on the actual wedding day, even though she wasn't going to and she didn't think she would. Um, and that she was told when she was younger, you're a boy, so don't cry. And, and to be emotional at that point in time when you were a child, and then to be constantly re... like reaffirm that you are not the gender that you actually are you're a boy so don't cry but for chi she's not a boy she's a girl and so this would be doubly confusing to someone who's who's going through this at a young age and so she said that she really hates that phrase and it does really hit home that even the slightest little comment that seems perfectly um, okay and normal and, and acceptable to you can be actually quite devastating to someone else depending on what they're emotionally going through. So that really hit home. I did cry buckets when I read it. I cried buckets. And you might too, but they are tears of, of joy because you know that at the end she gets to live the life that she really wants to live and it's so uplifting at the end. So for my reindeer prompt. The bride was a boy. I recommend this highly to everyone and I think everyone should read it. Merry Christmas!